Hello again, and welcome to Lean Management Training by Simply Learn. Before proceeding further, let us recall what we have learned in previous lessons. Lesson 1 gave us an introduction about lean. Lesson 2 was a study of types of waste. Lesson 3 discussed about various tools used in lean. Lesson 4 detailed about lean in manufacture, while Lesson 5 talked about lean in service. This is Lesson number 6, and we will talk in detail about lean in office. In the next slide, we will start with the agenda of what we are going to cover in this lesson, and then go into detail about lean in office. Here is the agenda. We will start with an overview of Lean Maturity Matrix. We will discuss assessing process that helps an organization to implement Lean. We will then discuss assessment criteria for evaluation of Lean. After this, we will introduce Lean Maturity Levels that an organization uses for assessment and improvement. In this section, we will cover an overview of the Lean Maturity Matrix. The need to have a Lean Maturity Matrix is to help organizations to determine the extent to which they have transformed themselves to adopt Lean principles with a structured means of assessing where it is in terms of implementing a Lean culture in its organization. As discussed in earlier lessons, the Lean principles that are evaluated are value, value stream, flow, pull, and perfection. The focus of the Lean principles is on analyzing processes in terms of customer or client value and eliminating waste. This is done by mapping processes and analyzing them rigorously to determine what is value adding and what is not. On the basis that value is defined as something a supplier considers, a customer or client, internal or external, is prepared to pay for. The rest is waste and processes are redesigned to try and eliminate this. Lean Maturity Matrix works like guiding factor and helps a team assess themselves against lean principles and see their adoption over a period of time. The ultimate goal of any lean production process is to minimize wastes and develop new processes to maximize the added value. The definition of wastes will vary depending on the type of process being analyzed. 